In this video, I'm going to show you a simple coverage trick that you can use out of the 46 defensive playbook that you can apply to your 3-3-5, 3-3-5 wide combination defense that you're going to find I think is going to make a real big difference in how you're able to cover a lot of stuff that people are going to do. I think it's going to take your zone drop defense to a whole new level. It's probably my favorite way to play defense in this game if I were to run 3-3-5 or 3-3-5 wide. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I also want to let you know that we're talking today about the 46 playbook. If you want to get my full 4-6 defensive ebook, it's got the dollar, it's got the 335, the 335 wide in it. We just put the nickel normal in the Patreon as well. Be sure to join the Patreon by joining the Patreon for just $10 a month. You're going to get access to all, and I mean all, of my Madden 22 ebooks. Um, I've got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available right now. We're working on some stuff out of the 3446 bear concepts that might be coming here in the new future. Just released an ebook this last weekend. We release a guide pretty much every two weeks over there. Um, we find something new or something worthy of putting out there. We also have weekly videos over there where we just kind of keep you on top of everything so uh, if you want to get better at the game I'd really encourage you to check out the patreon there will be a link in the description below where you can check that out all right guys so what I want to do first is I want to talk a little bit about um, let's just talk about a uh, bunch bunch is easy place to start okay um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out in the nickel three three five wide okay and some of you might have, I've gotten the question a lot, why do you recommend that we audible to 335 wide from 335 normal? Well, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons. So the first reason is this. So if I come out in Mike Blitz 3, uh, what you're gonna notice, and let me just kind of move this football back here just a little bit, just to kind of help give us some space. Um, what I like, what you're gonna notice here is if I were to click onto this guy and I were to try to put him into man coverage, I can only man him up on people on the left side of the screen. The same is true of the right side guy. So if I try to man him up, I can only man him up on people on the right side of the screen. Okay. So to me, that's kind of part A. Part B is this will be a hard flat, and hopefully I don't butcher this example. But if I try to throw the ball at a linebacker, he'll almost never pick it off. See that? I can just kind of force feed him. Now, I'm not saying that safeties are like that much better, but I think they are enough better. Um, and so that's part, that's kind of part A and part B of why this is really valuable. Uh, part C, though, is a package that I'm going to talk about. So um, if you take a look here, we can put the safety nickel back package on the field. So you can still do that from this. But if I come to 335 normal, uh, what I want you to do is put the safety nickel back package out there. So if you look at the, you see the packages at the, in the middle of the screen there. You're going to flick that right joystick to the right until it says safety nickelback. What that's going to do is it's going to put your uh, a safety in at the nickelback position. Now, you can feel free to sub him out if you want to, but by having that package, you're going to notice something really unique about what we're going to be able to do here in just a second. So the other, like I said, you can put safeties at linebacker. This is going to be significant because it's going to help you get better, um, significantly better coverage on your field. So uh, let me just put some corners in here. Um, doesn't really matter who we have. We just want to make sure we have safeties. Okay. So now I have the safety nickel back package. I've put free. I've put safeties at the linebacker positions. I've got corners everywhere else, and I'm going to come out in the cover four drop. Okay, it doesn't matter that you come out and cover four or not. But now I want to show you something. So when I audible down to the Mike Blitz three and I try to man this guy up, you're going to see that I can now man him up on anybody on the field. The same thing on the right side. I can man him up on anybody on the field. Uh, to me, that is really, really valuable, okay? Uh, another thing that I want to show you is this. So we're very used to this happening out of Tampa 2. If they run vertical verticals on us and they have good pass protection, uh, what they're going to be able to do is they're going to be able to hit this wheel on the right side, and that sucks to get burned like that, okay? Absolutely sucks. So what we're going to do, and this is why we use that safety at Nickelback package, is when we audible down to our Tampa 2 now, we, if you look at, I'm going to individually adjust the safeties. So first we're going to talk about Micah Hyde. You're going to notice that he gets different adjustments. Now I can put him in an outside third to the left. And as you see, he's going to basically be an outside third, just like what you would have out of maybe like a cover three cloud, for example. And then on the right side, the same is true of Wallace. I can put him in an outside third to the right by flicking the right joystick to the left. So as you can see right there, outside third to the left. 
And now the really cool part about this is because you're, the game is reading the safety as your nickelback, if you base a line, you're going to notice here, whoops, actually, I guess not, disregard. Um, but anyways, uh, I think you can actually do this out of, um, you might have to leave your safety in this position, but for the most part, let me try, let me try this actually. And I'm just not getting the adjustment right. Okay. Um, but typically you can actually get this guy to get those zones if you base a line. So look into that. Maybe, you know, just try to keep the safety there. There's some ways around it that I'm, you know, not, not going to go too far into detail with this on. But the concept is that we have these outside thirds, right? Um, so now what we're going to do is, you know, now what you have is you're going to be in the middle of the field. Okay. You're going to be this guy. So what you might want to do is you might want to man up, for example, on the uh, slot and then you might want to man up on the solo receiver so you can do something like this and now you're fairly protected over the middle of the field vertically uh, if anyone tries to run vertical you can kind of carry if a tight end goes or whatever um, and then of course we can always drop um, our defensive end on the running back side in a three wreck what that does is it's actually going to basically put him in man coverage on that so let's say you get a combination that looks like this and now I'm going to, oh, I see it's vertical as well. I've got that three wreck there on the running back, but also look at this. Now the outside third is going to play that. And of course I butchered the click on, but you see that he's going to play that, that vertical route. And I've been talking about this for a little while this year, uh, but I think it's something that's really, really, really good right now. Um, primarily because man coverage is getting better. It gets better almost every single week, right? Um, so you could easily play some kind of Mabel concept like this. Um, you just have to pay attention to the middle of the field. And then if you, let's say, for example, you, you don't want to do something like that, that's completely fine. Because having this guy on a, on a, uh, on a zone like that, it really isn't that, it's, 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 it's okay, but it's not, you know, it is what it is, right? So what we could do is we could say, you know what, uh, we're actually going to play uh, this guy in a middle third. Okay, and then we're going to play this guy in an outside third. And now we have created kind of a cover three cloud to the bunch side. Um, and then off of that, now we're just going to say, okay, well, if we get a verticals, if we get a crossing route, oh, we'll carry that. That's fine. And then everything else is going to be bagged, as you can see. So um, there's ways that you can use this concept that I think really help. Uh, a lot of you know some of the defensive struggles that we've been having up to this point. I mean, you can, you know, again, these outside third adjustments are really, really good this year. At least at this point right now, where we're at in the game, these adjustments are really, really good. And then the beauty of three, three, five wide is you've got this simple way to send five man pressure. So, you know, let's say we wanted to play hard flats and we wanted to have those thirds out there. Um, this is a very good defense for verticals right here. What I'm about to show you, because literally all you have to guard is this. And then you can kind of swap off there, play a little bait with them. Um, but that's a great way, in my opinion, to play, you know, take your cover two and make it a thousand times better by putting those outside thirds out there. And then now, like I said, you know, you can do, you, you can do whatever. If you want to use the slot, you can, and then you could be a little safer, right? Because you could do something like this. Uh, again, please don't underestimate the power of having the ability to do that right there. And then you're just sitting like this. This is probably the best base defense in the game. If you want to talk about coverage, this is incredible coverage uh, that you're going to be able to get out of this. And as you can see, I'm just going to sit in the middle of the field and there's really nothing open. Okay. So thanks for watching the video. This is just an introduction to the concept. We go very in depth in the ebook. If you want to learn all of this stuff, uh, grab the Patreon. There's a link in the description to sign up for that. By signing up for that, you're getting access to every ebook that I've released, literally everything that I've got, you're going to get a massive amount of content and you're going to be able to learn exactly what the best players in the world are doing and why they're doing it. So if you want to learn all that, again, there's a link in the description below for you to be able to sign up for the Patreon. So if you're still interested in that, head on down to the description and uh, join that Patreon membership.